All right, today I'll be showing you how to do a screenshot, upload a JPEG, and email or save your assignment using Planner 5D. So once you have your house all done on Planner 5D, you want to take a screenshot. By adjusting your house, you can use the buttons and the mouse to get the picture exactly how you want it and then go over here to where it has a picture of the camera click that or you will take a screenshot alright and then you're going to of course give it a name and a jpeg and we're going to give it class period, first initial, last name and then we'll call this and save as a png Great looking picture with all your features. Just to ensure, we'll right click, save image as. I'll put this in my U drive, which would be your first initial and last name. Double click that. Eighth grade folder. I have a construction folder. You'll probably put it in your IT folder. And again, do the same thing. Last period, first initial, last name. Planner. We can take this as a PNG. Make sure it's a PNG file. Hit save. And we're done with that part. Next thing we're going to do is upload the picture of your house here. So I'm going to click upload the JPEG of your house here on Moodle. Follow these directions. Click choose file. And we have to remember where we saved it, which was in our U drive. which will be your first initial and last name. Put in our 8th grade IT folder. I have a construction folder. And there it is right there. Class period, first initial, last name. Planner 5D. Hit open. Make sure you hit upload this file. File uploaded successfully. All right, the next thing we're going to do is share the Planner 5D with the teacher. So I'm going to go back to the Planner 5D, and I can now share this by hitting, there's a Facebook, Tweet, Google+, and a Share button. Hit this. You can post this on any of your social networks. Another way you can do this is hit the Email button. Go ahead and type my email in sponder at us from this is where you'll put your email address. You can write me a little message. Go ahead and click send email. You have to type in the letters that pop up on your screen. 